Hi, day three, Sustainable Brands Conference, Vancouver. Today was very much around storytelling and uh, purpose, creating purpose with your brand. A, a great lineup of uh, presentations. I talked yesterday about a, a, an author that uh, we met, John Izzo, and about his book, The Purpose Revolution. Well, I managed to get myself a copy. Um, and I've got 13 and a half hours on the way back to Auckland, so I will try my best to get through as much as I can. But if you want to uh, borrow it and have a read, then please do let me know. Uh, one of the presentations yesterday was interesting where they were talking around Dick's, which is a famous sporting um, store, apparel store here, that two weeks after the Parklands um, shooting, they decided that they would um, create stricter rules around gun use and they decided that they would not sell guns to anyone under the age of 25 and built in some other measures as well. Well, what they've seen is actually that the consumer's rewarding them because their share price went up 26% and um, uh, they, they made the news and they've had a really good publicity out of it. And they said that actually standing up for a cause, it could have gone two ways and um, that uh, it, it could have been detrimental to their business, but in fact, it was it was beneficial. So the consumer really resonated with the fact that they were they was making a stand. Um, another good presentation was a guy called Alex Thompson from a company called REI Co-op. Um, and uh, he's starting a movement called Hashtag Opt Outside. And uh, actually at, at that at lunchtime, uh, Cliff Bar, who uh, make uh, sports bars, which you can buy in New Zealand, um, uh, took about 65 people on a hike into Stanley Park. Um, and it was really good. We were talking. Uh, uh, it was like the conference carried on as we were sort of talking. So that was that was really interesting. He was talking about um, instead of parts per million he was talking about hearts per million and actually bringing people um, on your journey on your story and it's very much one of the things that I um, often talk about great presentation from National Geographic as well um, and then the next up we got to see a snippet of a movie that's coming out called Game Changers uh, the Game Changers movie it's actually a movie about plant-based diets but it's it's not a um, it's not a sort of lobbying movie. It's actually, the movie's got a really good story. So I can't wait for that to come out because it looks really good and they've got um, some excellent actors and it's all been very professionally made. So so look out for that. I think it's sometime towards the end of June and it's called Game Changers. So um, then the day, uh, lots more really good presentations. As I say, we had the hike. We had a really good presentation from Hilton talking about the SDGs. Um, we had a great presentation from Starbucks, then a uh, not-for-profit charity called uh, Tango Tab. Um, and this is around getting the consumer when they're dining out to uh, dine out at restaurants, with them donate a meal uh, to someone in need. So um, sort of similar, I guess, to Eat My Lunch, but... Uh, this is more a dining out in restaurants and they've got all these restaurants now signed up. So, so have a look for that. It's called Tango Tab. We then had a pitch of some startup businesses and the audience was able to vote. So that, that was good fun. And an organization called um, Renewalogy uh, won a fantastic pitch, really uh, excellent. And it's around, they've created a, um, a chemical that actually helps uh, recycle plastic um so they've won won some awards last night and um lots of support and, and some financial backing as well and then the evening ended up with a craft brewery tour so we went to uh th four craft breweries um vancouver actually in a really small area has over 30 so uh so that was good fun there was a group of us that uh that, that went there so so yeah, so that's the end of day three. Um, one more day to go and it looks like a packed one, including going to see um, beehives. And actually the roof of the convention centre has um, uh, wetlands and beehives. Um, so some really good um, uh, insights into what they're doing there as well. So, so thank you.